Alright everyone, playing some more blue-white polymorph in modern uh, polymorph tokens. With two lands, a couple token generators, a virtue. We might be able to just go in on a token plan here. Um, I'll keep the two lander, it seems alright. Deck doesn't play that many lands, only 21 I believe. Sacred Foundry, playing burn. Eh, he takes a tapped, okay. Maybe a uh, sun and moon deck. I will play this out and pass turn. Hey Stardust, how's it going? Eidolon, okay, so he didn't have a play turn one. Burn. Eidolon does hurt us, but it's not the end of the world. That is Burn's best card. Um. I think here, you know, we can raise the alarm and try to catch him here. If he attacks with the Eidolon, we won't be able to block it. Legacy is one format I haven't really played. Um, obviously, the, the price to entry is, is pretty high. But if I were to play Legacy, I'd probably play Legacy Burn. I know our, our local area has a fairly big legacy scene. Um, we're, we're definitely a modern legacy area. We're going to catch him here. Hopefully he doesn't have a spell to kill a token, but at the worst we'll make him waste a spell to kill a token. Yeah, the, the price of Legacy Burn is not, not bad. I already have all the pieces, mostly, so, from Modern Burn, so. I think between me and my buddy, we have a Legacy Burn deck put together somewhere. Yeah, this is kind of a Tokens, uh, tokens Polymorph. All right, what's better against burn here? Um, I think getting some spirits out is okay. We may just lose to burn, but we do have timely reinforcements, which is good, obviously. We can make these spirits pretty big. We won't be able to. What are you looking to build, Stardust? Swiss Fear is fine. I think we'll just triple block? We might get blown out. I'm not going to block. Yeah, tight, Titan Shift is very good. It's one of the best decks in the format, in my opinion. Yeah, Helix is fine. That's all right. It's like five. Down to nine. Down to seven. And now we got a Virtue with the Vigilance. It's just going to allow us to... And we drew a Polymorph, so if we can get a land, we'll be all right. So I think I'm going to play the Virtue. We may just get burned out, depending on what he has in hand. We got uh, tons of blockers now. Like, if he has a Boris Charm and a Bolt, it's obviously done. Like, I want him to have all creatures at this point, would be fine. Land is fine, too. Emrakul might be a little slow for us here. I will triple block.
Damn, eight booster boxes? Jeez. Any unstable? Iconic Masters. Alright, he's gonna try to blow out some tokens here. That's fine. He's down to one card, we're at seven life. Oh, we drew an Emrakul, lovely. Well, I think we're gonna do this. We're gonna chart a course. Discard the Emrakul. Yeah, I know. I'm going to try to pick up all the lands eventually, but I like all the on lands, so. Uh, here to play a gather just to have more creatures out. Next turn we can polymorph. He didn't crack his fetch. That seems very bad. You have to crack him to thin your deck, and that's a good example. He draws another fetch. Seems like he has another land in hand, too, so we're looking pretty solid here. We can even play... Well, we can play a Myth Realized... Nice. Going big. I like it. I opened up a case of uh, Modern Masters this year, but I pretty much broke even. I think we can get him with Emrakul now. He might be able to blow us out, though, if he has removal. If that's the case, then at least we're eating a bolt on a creature. I think he has another land in hand based on what he's played. Yep, we'll get Emrakul. Yeah, that's a bit much. You probably wouldn't lose money, though, I would say. You would probably at least break even. And we took game one against Burn. All right. Um, Verdict seems fine. Uh, here we're taking Iona, right? They just can't do anything. We'll get rid of Emrakul. Time the reinforcements is fantastic. I'll get rid of a Midnight Haunting. Spreading seas is okay. Negate and dispel are also really good. I'll cut down on a myth realize. Cut down on a chart, of course. Cut down on a spectral. I'll go down another myth realized, and I'll cut another chart, of course. We need to keep one in here at least for Emrakul if we draw it or, or Iona. We'll try that. Oh, I started typing and it's all caps. No.
Supreme Verdict, a bunch of islands and no white mana. Um, then go with the mulligan. Here we got one mana and we got timely reinforcements though, which I think is okay. And I'm gonna keep another timely on top. Having two timely reinforcements seems okay. Like we need some land to cast it, but if we get there, we'll be all right. We may just lose before then. Goblin guy, that's fine. He'll reveal a timely. It's very possible we lose before we can do anything here. We can at least get a trump blocker out. I think we just go for a basic planes here, unfortunately. Hope to draw lands. Two lands. Modern Masters this year was nice for me because it had so many playables, like modern playables in it. Um, it's really good for someone like me who just has a ton of modern cards. Like, I bulked up on fetch lands and all sorts of stuff. Um, this seems alright. We're getting close to timely anyways. We can play a gather. I think we play a gather, negate. We really have to block a creature. Yeah, I've got a play set of bobs. Um, I think I have the older Modern Masters ones, though. I've got Jund in paper. I've got Jund, all that stuff. <clears throat> Way too many cards. In paper, though, I've been playing... Um, I've been playing the Jeskai, the Jeskai Tempo deck. Uh, guys, Jeskai Geist, or whatever you want to call it. Spell Queller right now, really good card. Super underrated. Um, we could play a Timely here. I think we do just slam a timely. It seems fine, right? We're not gonna get any tokens, but we are gonna gain seven, six life, seven life, six life, something like that. If he's got a skull crack, I mean, we just get blown out. But yeah, he does. We do have another timely next turn. Hopefully, we can force him to use up all his resources and try to play it again. We're also close to polymorph if we draw one. Then we just win the game. Iona just says you win the game, so. Yeah, renting decks is fine. I think there's a bunch of legacy happening this year because... There's some team events, you know, Team Pro Tour, Team um, GPs and stuff. And they're all, um, you know, like the Star City structure or one place standard, one place modern, one place legacy. Um, yes, wow, we could go for a timely um, here, but he has two cards in hand. I think we just have to go for it, right? Let's leave up a, a blue. No, I want to leave up a white, just in case. We're going to go to six. Yeah, he has a skull crack. Damn, two skull cracks. Uh, 
we do get three tokens though. That's all right. Yeah, nice. Uh, I don't think I'm I'm playing one GP. I think this year, there's one really close to me, um, Connecticut. So um, I think I'll make it to that one. But I'm just trying to. I'm just starting to get into like you know super competitive. Um, yeah, we just lose. I could poly into Gristle Brand, but I'm not playing Gristle Brand. I'm playing Elshnor and Emrakul and Iona, so it's one one or the other. Um, I think we just run it back. This is fine. I could have maybe used my timelies in a better manner there. But against Burn, Iona just wins the game, so. Your opponents can't cast spells of the chosen color. I mean, I don't think he's bringing in Path, because Path doesn't do anything against an Emrakul. So I don't think they side in Path. I think they definitely side in Destructive Revelry, um, Skullcracks, etc. But. Yeah, you can only really play one creature at a time with this deck because you want to make sure you hit it um, off the Polymorph. This deck's okay. Mana Leak seems good, right? This deck is fine. Hopefully we can just turn, we can maybe turn turn that into a Polymorph, but... Nice Stardust. Cool. We're not going to take any damage off our mana here, which is nice as well. Like, our, our local scene here is very strong. Um, we've got a number of, of GP top 8 players and, and Pro Tour top 8 players. Um, a lot of them don't get around as much as they used to, but... Yeah, here here we have some 1Ks too. Like every month that we have like a what's it's a, called a titanium event where it's modern and um it's a lot of different different stuff. Usually only draws, you know, 100 people max, but I'm just going to keep Manalik open here. Take some beats from a goblin guide. He's already down to two cards. Drawing a land is good. I think we're gonna oh, we might want to opt. We'll opt we'll opt in a turn. I don't think he has much in hand because he's down to two cards already. Um I'll throw that in the bottom. Tangible virtue is really good. Still want to keep mana leak open though. But I think here now, I think we'll just do that, and we'll play Gather the Townsfolk, so we can kill a guide, maybe. Yeah, that's good. Bigger events are, are good, you know. But... Yeah, Searing Blaze sucks. He's down to two cards. No, I'm not playing Remand. I could play Remand, but I went with Mana Leak instead. It's not really a counter-heavy deck, although I will be probably evolving it into more of a control strategy. Um, that's, uh, do we want to block a... I think we just block a guide, chump it. Uh... Raise the alarm on top. Wish I had one more mana to work with here. I think here we're just gonna use our mana wisely and play Spectral Procession. Try to kill this goblin here. So hopefully we can hit a land. Yeah, re reman is a definite option. I think the more controlly lists are, are using like two or three remands, so definitely gonna look into it. This version is super cheap, it's only like ten tickets, so I wanted to try it out. 
just for like you know budget purposes uh, I am gonna triple block here if he has a searing blaze or something we did hit a land off the goblin guide which is nice so now next turn we can play tokens and we can leave mana leak up and negate up or we could just play it we might just run out the virtue first Uh, so we'll play a planes. I'm gonna play the virtue. He also doesn't have any green mana at the moment. He's gonna searing blaze for one. Um, I'm actually kind of okay with that. And then I'm gonna play raise the alarm now. And then kind of. After this turn, there'll be just a bunch of counter spells left in hands. <clears throat> yeah, MTGO is a money sink. Like, buying cards is the way to go because you can always buy out of it if you have to. There's websites that'll buy your tickets or, or buy the rest of your cards for, you know, 90 cents on the dollar. So there, there's no real way you're going to lose money. But if you're a decent enough player, you can at least play and then not have to pay for entry fees and stuff. Um, so that's the, the plus, I guess. Um, that's fine. We can leave mana leaks, negates. Kind of just beat down with some tokens here, hopefully. No blocks. I kind of want to chart a course. Just to get some more cards. Uh, we do have a gather, but... I'll leave I'll leave back a mana leaker in a gate here. Renting decks is okay if you're only gonna use it like there's subscription services you can pay for. Yeah, I mean hopefully at least you're you're paying you know, that should pay back some of the rental fee, but I think with 99 bucks you get do you get unlimited cards or are you still restricted to like time time frames? <clears throat> if you're only going to play one deck like renting is fine, but um I think with double block anyways, knowing we have a gather of townsfolk in hands, so he'll have to have a couple prowess triggers, which he might he might just have, but we can negate something. It's fine, you can fetch. He's down to 10. So even Timely is bad here. He's already down so low. I think we're just going to token him out, though. Destructive Revelry. I'm going to mana leak that. He will be able to kill a token. Okay, that worked out fine for me. Totally okay with that. I think here we'll play a gather, get some more tokens out. Attack for two. Leave up a mana leak and a negate. End of turn, we can opt. Down to eight. I think we're going to do it against Burn with just the, the token plan. Yeah. So, I mean, it's basically comes down to whether you think you would buy $100 worth of cards a month or if you're better off just paying, you know, the $600 up front for a deck or, or whatnot. Um, I guess I could have mana leaked that, but I'm not too worried about it. Like, he can't even attack, so... We're gonna opt. The gate will stay on top for sure, and we're just gonna go counter him out here. Drawing an island is fantastic. I don't see a way we can lose this. He might have to be forced to block here. Yep. He can pump it up and, and save his creature. 
But I don't think it does any good. We're still going to have two tokens left. Um, I'm going to mana leak the Skullcrack. Actually, do I want to negate and mana leak a creature? I think I'm just going to... Yeah, I'll negate it. It doesn't really matter. He'll go to four. Yeah, that's good, Stardust. I looked into the rental things just for, you know, content-wise, like streaming and, and YouTube and stuff, but um, we beat, beat Burn pretty nice, pretty solid here. T two matches anyways, two wins.